name is Jeroen Pastekam. I'm a full professor in the Department of Translational Neuroscience in the University Medical Center Utrecht in Utrecht, the Netherlands. The work in my laboratory is focused on understanding how neuronal connections are established during development and how and why connections disappear or rearrange in disease. In the present study, we present new mechanisms that help growing axons in innervating specific subdomains of the developing nervous system. The nervous system is organized in two main anatomical subunits, brain nuclei and layered structures. Our understanding of how lamina specific connectivity is established has significantly improved over the past few years. However, molecular mechanisms directing subnuclear innervation of large brain nuclei is less well understood. A striking example of a brain nucleus with subdomain specific connectivity mediates complex physiological functions is the habenula. The habenula receives efferent inputs from many brain regions and is implicated in reward-related behavior and psychiatric disease. In this issue of Neuron, we present two novel and interdependent molecular mechanisms that direct dopaminergic efferent to the lateral habenula. In the next two sections, Ewald Smit and Sara Brignani will present and explain the main findings and conclusions of our study. Hi, my name is Ewald Schmidt and I did this work as a PhD student in the lab. So as mentioned, the habenula consists of two subnuclei, the medial and the lateral habenula. The major output bundle is the fasciculus retroflexus, or FR. Axons from the medial habenula run through the core of the FR to innervate the interpeduncular nucleus. Axons from the lateral habenula run through the sheet of the FR and innervate monoaminergic nuclei, including dopaminergic neurons. Dopaminergic axons run in opposite direction towards the habenula, where they selectively innervate the lateral subnucleus. So to investigate how subnuclear specific innovation is established, we performed laser dissection microscopy in combination with mass spec analysis to determine the molecular differences between the medial and the lateral habenula. One of the interesting candidates we found was DCC and its ligand Natrium-1. DCC is expressed on dopaminergic axons, while Natrium-1 is specifically expressed in the lateral habenula. This expression pattern suggested that the traction mediated by Natrium-1 may instruct dopaminergic axons to specifically innovate the lateral habenula. We studied the role of DCC natrium-1 in vivo by analyzing DCC and natrium-1 knockout mice. Both DCC and natrium-1 knockout mice showed an almost complete loss of dopaminergic innervation of the habenula. Importantly, dopaminergic axons were still observed at the ventral border of the habenula, suggesting that axon pathfinding towards the habenula remained intact and that loss of DCC or natrium-1 specifically affected the innervation of the habenula. Another striking effect was that upon loss of DCC or natrium-1, the development of the FR was also severely impaired. We observed a major loss of core axons, which resulted in collapsing of the sheet. Interestingly, we found dopaminergic axons always associated with sheet axons. These observations led us to hypothesize that axon pathfinding of dopaminergic axons towards the habenula relies on axon-axon interactions, with dopaminergic axons relying on sheet axons, which originate in the lateral habenula, for guidance towards the subdomain. We investigated this hypothesis by blocking the growth of habenular axons using blocking filters. As a result, the outgrowth of dopaminergic axons towards the habenula was completely impaired. This confirmed that dopaminergic axons rely on sheet axons from the habenula for guidance. So to determine the molecular mechanism that mediates these axon-axon interactions, we performed laser dissection microscopy in combination with mass spec analysis to determine the proteins that are expressed in the FR during its development. Of particular interest was LAMP, which showed specific expression in the sheet domain of the FR. Hello everybody, my name is Sara Brignani and I'm a PhD student in Jeroen's lab. Following up on what Ewald said, a combination of experiments revealed the potential role of LAMP uh, in the sheet axons in guiding dopaminergic axons towards the abenula. We found that blocking LAMP activity by blocking antibodies or knocking down LAMP in the lateral abenula impair the growth of dopaminergic axons towards the abenula with some of these axons growing off the fasciculus. This evidence suggests that, that LAMP is necessary for the growth of dopaminergic axons towards the abenula. In order to establish whether LAMP is required for subdomain-specific targeting of the lateral abenula, we ectopically overexpressed LAMP in the medial abenula. As a result, dopaminergic axons were misdirected towards the medial abenula, 
showing that LAMP is involved in subdomain targeting. We analyzed the, uh, the function of LAMP uh, in vivo by analyzing LAMP knockout mice. We observed an impaired innovation of the lateral abenula, and while the fasciculus appeared intact, dopaminergic axons were more spread out in accordance with our previous results obtained by organotypic slice culture experiments. Summarizing our results, we found two distinct mechanisms that cooperate to control subdomain-specific innovation of the abenula. First, the lateral abenula sends out efferents that express the cell adhesion molecule LAMP. These LAMP-expressing efferents guide dopaminergic axons and deliver them to the ventral border of the lateral abenula. Upon arrival, subdomain-restricted expression of netrin 1 promotes the entry of dopaminergic axons into the lateral abenula. Many brain nuclei and layered structures display subdomain-specific expression of axon guidance cues and are interconnected with their efferent regions by reciprocal axon connections. We therefore believe that the combinatorial molecular strategy we present may be used widely throughout the developing nervous system. Thank you for watching our video and we hope that you enjoy reading our paper.